I'm sharing the news with you guys here in California, but I'm on the phone with my family since last night. They're in Hubei. That's where I'm from. And some of my families are doctors who are working in the hospital right now. The whole city, all the hospitals are full and some of the medical supplies are running out. So it's really dangerous working environment. And I'm terribly worried about all my families and friends. Please wear the mask if you're going anywhere in public. Be safe. Akhir-akhir ini kita digemparkan dengan virus corona. Ya, sebenarnya penularan corona virus ini pertama ditemukan di daerah Wuhan, Tiongkok. Kemudian ditularkan dari hewan ke manusia, bahkan ke manusia dan manusia. Penularannya lewat air liur tentunya, karena mirip seperti gejala penularan dari flu. Dari air liur, batu, kemudian cairan mata, cairan hidung, cairan mulut, atau makan dengan makanan yang sama dengan penderita. Gejala yang harus diwaspadai adalah jika Anda mengalami batuk-batuk, kemudian demam, suhu tubuhnya di atas 37,5, dan juga mengalami sesak. Jika Anda mengalami gejala, gejala seperti itu, sebaiknya Anda segera menemui dokter. Pencegahan terpenting adalah Anda harus memakai masker kalau berpergian. Hindari berpergian di tempat-tempat yang diduga penularan ini banyak, kemudian juga rutinlah mencuci tangan. Karena dengan Anda menjaga kebersihan tubuh, tentunya ini mencegah virus bisa ditularkan dengan mudah. Signed up with the recruiter, great pay. He says, come in, sign the papers. I did, now look at me. They dropped me in some godforsaken place, put this yellow monkey suit on me, and a mask. And he said, we're gonna find the coronavirus. The coronavirus? What the hell is the coronavirus? He says, don't take the mask off, whatever you do. Okay, okay, don't take the mask. And then he says, you're gonna find the bodies. Look for the bodies, we need them. Okay, okay. So now, I gotta find the body, don't take the mask off, and then I'll report. My time has come. Okay, so we've all heard about the coronavirus by now, and a lot of media is comparing it to the 2003 SARS virus. This is because both of these are coronaviruses, which is a type of virus that is often spread from animals to humans in close proximity. There are a few key differences though. SARS began in 2002, but the World Health Organization was not notified until February 2003. This is because China initially discouraged the press from reporting on SARS. This means it wasn't until April after all these outbreaks that the World Health Organization issued a global health alert. The next day, the genetic code for SARS was sequenced. By July 2003, the World Health Organization declared it contained. Overall, SARS had a fatality rate of 9.6%. 
But one of the main differences between SARS and the new virus is that one day after it was detected, it was reported, and within nine days, we've already sequenced the genome. This means we have a test that can detect the virus within four hours. Currently, it has a mortality rate of 4%, less than half of SARS. There have been a few cases in the States, but they're already quarantined, which is how we keep this under control. Luckily, we've saw most of the infections have been in mainland China, but fresh cases are popping up. Today, Australia and Malaysia reported their first cases, and Japan reported a third. It's spreading. It is a Chinese New Year today. For the families and friends who are still fighting on the front line, all we can do is send love and support. Apple just made a donation announced by Tim Cook this morning on Twitter. Time from time, history proves only love and courage can fight through any crisis. It is not the time to make any false judgments to show your racism. Chinese don't eat dogs. A few irresponsible people do not represent all of us. It is illegal to eat wild animals in China. Don't bully any students here at your school. Have your school to gain the awareness from the public health perspective. Let's stay.